Ben, um, I looked up at one stage and you were playing left half back. <laughs> That's sort of the way the game went. It was all sort of epic. There was no real rules as such. It was uh, gung ho. Aye, uh, that's it. Like it just seemed to, like it went in the flash there. And I just think that it's, you know it's one of those games where everything's magnified, every move and everything. So it nearly has to be that everything has to be right. But as you say, I was standing out and the head went at a stage. And the crowd was roaring and there was that much going on and all. And I took a bit of a knock and I sort of lost my, my train of thought and where I was at. But no, as you say, it's chaos. The game's a bit. You know, it turned a bit chaotic at the stage. They got a late goal. Benny made a nice free pass in, but look, you, you learn from those. It's a bit like Newbridge game. We lost ahead a bit too, and sort of that's when you take in the semi final to just work on seeing the game out. It was an exciting enough game, Ben, and then Sean hung up a lovely goal to put six in it, and then it just kept coming. Ah, uh, that was it. I think we, we took the foot off the pedal a little bit, and I think that's something, as I say, we can learn from. But, uh, the, you know, the, the lads played great, and that could be our only fault is seeing the game out you know we had as you say six up with about 10 left or maybe even more and we just sort of lost the run of ourselves and started fisting the ball away and men doing things shouldn't be done I, I had a few stray kicks and you know it's just something you take in the semi-final is if we're in the lead see the game out he's picked up an injury to Daniel McInnes earlier in the season he's have regrouped he's have brought in a lot of younger fellas Sean for example Oshin Mon the last day changing faces around Balderry Aye, that's it. Like, you know, you've, you've a few of the old heads have retired. You know, you, you're looking at the likes of Dietz and, and Big Andy. You know, we were relying on them for years, but it's now time for the young boys to step up. And I know that playing this is my fifth year with the seniors, so I sort of have to help carry them boys along too. You know, it's not just up to to the older lads like Kevin McGuckin and, and Connor Navin and Declan Sucky. You know, them boys they have to you know they have to worry about their own jobs instead of carrying us boys too. But no. Uh, big Glenn McCusker and Oshin and Sean and Conor O'Neill as well have all come on brilliantly and I think that I think that the round robin group stages seem to help them you know because they got a taste of championship football but it was also playing without fear you know you'd, you'd, Oshin played well against Glenn and Big Glenn played well against Banner and Connor's been playing well the whole way through so I think it's, it's one of those things where you need to get football to, to, to really see where you're at What now? Bring on the semi-finals. Bring on the semi-finals. Back at it on Tuesday night. Need to look at recovery. Maybe we'll, we'll look at maybe just enjoying ourselves tonight. But that's when it stops. You know, semi-finals come quick and fast here now. So uh, we just have to focus on things and we'll look to see who we have in the next round and hopefully get over that and see ourselves in the final. But as I say, the draw is not made yet, obviously. But like one game away from the final, it's a massive carrot, uh, and it. you've only one week to really prepare. Yeah, that's, that's uh, as I've said there. You know, mentally. Is where we need to get. We're, we're, we're physically in shape, and you know we have tactics sort of thing. It's just mentally now because I know some lads that maybe was their first ch championship senior quarter final. It was maybe their first A quarter final. James mentioned that four four years ago there was six of us in the C minor final, and now we're in the the senior semi final. So yeah, I think mentally we need to prepare ourselves, and then obviously physically, you know, recoveries so or a couple of boys go off with injuries. But yeah, we we'll just have to look forward to, to the next game and take it as it comes. A lot of talk about football and the style of football but surely that's the way it should be played for from a neutral perspective yes but me standing the nets there the ball coming in as often as it was i just uh, i just wouldn't uh, i wouldn't be too glad of it but listen it was a it was a nice game to be part of and when game when the game opened up a bit you got to see who who were the footballers and who weren't and thankfully sort of we saw it out in the end